All right, so good morning, everyone. Welcome back to another day of Fargo's Soul Mod. Today, we're back once again to crack on with the extremely painful Abomination Saga. But today, we have a secret weapon. Now, that weapon isn't an actual weapon. You know, one that deals 10 million damage, because that would be kind of useful. No, it is a very long, well-structured, analytical comment from one of you lot, the Couch Gang. So, we got a comment yesterday from somebody called Toaster Oven, and I just fell in love with this comment. Essentially, they watched how we kind of maneuvered during the fight, and they offered some really great tips based on, you know, how I play. Because I'm not the best Terraria player in the world. And I feel like, especially with this fight, and most probably Mutant, we will need to manage our accessories based around, you know, just how I play Terraria. And I, I just thought it was a great comment. So, what they recommended, and look, I don't know if it's going to be the best idea, but hey. They recommended swapping over the Bionomic Cluster to a new accessory called... The Pure Heart, and what this does is it grants immunity to rotting and bloodthirsty. Now, why this is important is essentially because I was getting rotting all throughout all of the fights yesterday, because I'm very bad at dodging um, the pumpkin scythes, and that's how you get it. So, with this accessory, we don't get that, and we get the creepers, which block damage. I don't really know if they're any good anymore, because like we had these in pretty hard mode, so... I don't know, maybe they're decent, I don't know, it's it's arguable. Um, but yeah, they recommended some of the smaller tips as well, it was great. I mean, we got lots of great tips from everyone. Um, but you know, credit where credit's due, I thought it was a great comment. Another great tip, and this was just a small one, <laughs> unlike this weapon. Um, somebody said, why not put the, the weapons starting from number one in the hotbar all the way to four? Makes it easier to remember. I thought that was great as well, um, and hopefully that helps, but that's it, that's the tips. Today, we're doing some grinding, that's right, we're abomination grinding, so the warm-up phase begins. Okay, I didn't start this at a good time, but hey, it is what it is. So, two things that I have not mentioned, that I have been watching, that people keep asking about in the comments. Number one, today is Wednesday, new episode of Loki tonight. Have I been watching Loki? Hell yeah, I've been watching Loki. It's really good. I, I'm definitely enjoying it so far. Um, yeah, it's just just um, I, I, it's just another Marvel TV show. It's good. Um, yeah, I, I am enjoying it. Me and Courtney have been watching it together, which has been nice. Yeah, it's been it's been really good. Um, and yeah, a new episode comes out tonight, which is exciting. Uh, but I haven't watched it yet. Well, it comes out. It's already out. <laughs> And then the other thing I've been watching is the, the football, the Euros. Um, I don't ever talk about football, but I do enjoy watching it every now and again. Um, and yeah, it's been good. Um, yeah, it's been good. Uh, it was nice watching England win last night. Very enjoyable. I'm not super into it in the sense of I actually care about who wins. It's just I enjoy watching the England games. But I'm not like the biggest football fan in the world. I can name you seven players now. <laughs> Are you impressed? Um... And then other than that, uh, I just want to say thank you to people that watched the, the new meme review last night on Chippy Gaming. Um, I took a big... I've been taking big breaks on, on Chippy Gaming, so I really appreciate that, that people have been coming back to the channel. Because, honestly, once you fall off with a YouTube channel, it's very easy to never watch them again. Even though you're watching this, it is slightly different. So I'm really grateful that, that people checked it out. The video's doing really well, considering we had a big break. So, yeah, all around... Very positive stuff. Very positive stuff. Exciting week as always. Super exciting tomorrow. A man's coming around to fix my toilet. That's right. Um, <laughs> my toilet has been leaking now for a while. <laughs> and it is getting fixed tomorrow and I can't wait. Because it's it's very loud when it leaks. I'm also getting my boiler fixed tomorrow. Which is probably the more pressing issue here. But yeah. So I'm pretty pumped for that. And he's a really nice guy. And he knows all about the YouTube channel. So that's really nice. It's nice to, nice to have it fixed. <laughs> These are the exciting weeks when you are an adult. Um, very, very exciting. All right. So, yeah, essentially this accessory is to help with this pumpkin side phase, which clearly we just suck at. Like, we just, we're just not good at it. So with this phase of the fight, I think you have to stay underneath and move up and down, I think. Okay, we're off that way. 
I need to get better at dodging the blade. Uh, I need to get better at dodging the scythes that come after the blade. That's what I'm most bad at. All right, dodge. Oh, oh, we did that wrong. Okay. All right. So obviously we're not changing weapons well enough in this fight. Um, but we're learning. You know, this is the warm up. This is the prep that we do. I, I as you can see, because I, I cut a lot out of yesterday's episode. The hours of the let's play are really racking up now, <laughs> especially the off-screen hours. They're they're really beginning to rack up. Um, but yeah, uh, I, this is this is essentially what happens. I, I kind of like I go into it thinking, all right, this is going to be like a warm up almost, and then I just don't do well on the fight. But obviously there was some big tips that we could learn from that fight, which was swap weapon. You, you big dumb. Um, stop. Stop being so smooth brain. But yeah, I like that the, the Terra Force is still recommended. Mainly because it sucks up these things, which are great. Little enchantments. Love to see them. Okay, I need to get used to doing this. Right, so it's time for our new hated phase. Which is where you have to hit the side of this. And then you run back to the other side. And you stay here. Oh, <laughs> I need to get better at it. I keep touching uh, the sides and stuff. But at least I... <laughs> I don't know what I did. <laughs> I don't know if I really did that well. It's hard to tell. I'll tell you what. We could actually swap to Gaia Armor. Uh, turn on the damaging buff. Still stay at 700 health. And try it this way. And see if anything changes. And change the... Terra Force to this. Don't be surprised, by the way. If there's a jump cut and then I'm using something else entirely, that's just because I'm, like, still experimenting. Right. So, I think one of the biggest things that I have to acknowledge is I think lag is playing a really big factor in these fights. All right? <laughs> that sounds a little goofy, I know. But I, I, I genuinely do believe that... I mean, it's constantly lagging. For some reason, it... It seems to constantly rain. I don't know if that's part of the fight or it's just like, you know. If it's bad luck, I do think, though, that maybe if the fight is causing the rain, which, once again, I do not know if that is the case, it probably shouldn't because it does really contribute towards uh, the game kind of, like, chopping up and stuff. So, yeah, just, just another little tip. I don't know, though. I kind of thought that about the last fight, though. The Champion of the Cosmos one. So, I think that it's probably bad luck. I don't think it's the... Yeah. But you can always cancel it, sure. But, yeah. I don't want to keep doing that every time. Okay, right. So, I begin again. And I am learning. I am learning. Oh, I've put it onto minimal effects, essentially. So that we don't have to, to deal with the lag as much. Oh my. <laughs> that was such an awful use of time freeze. No. Oh, gutted by that. Truly, truly gutted. Oh, this was a good fight as well. It's not like it's ruined, don't get me wrong, but <laughs> knowing me, it probably is. Oh, it's so gutted. Yeah, I need to get better at these pumpkin sides. I do not have a clue how to dodge them. Ooh, died then. That's the best I ever did. And I tell you what, the, the reason that was the best I ever did was mainly because I was, like, starting to finally put a lot of the pieces together. So I was using my freeze time a little better. I was using my vortexes a little better. All around, honestly, a, a great fight, that one. I really did enjoy that. And it gave me a little bit of chance to actually start learning some of the later patterns as well. Like that one, you have to stand in the gap of the laser... But you also have to dodge the little missiles coming your way. So even though I didn't smash it, I'm still very proud. I don't know how reliable that vortex thing is, by the way. Because I don't seem to be able to trigger it all the time. Alright, this fight's doing pretty well as well. Just want to acknowledge that. So now we're going to dodge those little missiles that come our way. Uh, oh, they're honestly quite hard to dodge. Okay, so it's big sword now. Okay, we know how to deal with that. Big sword the other way. We know how to deal with that. Back to uh, this phase. I can't activate my vortex. Does anybody know why? I'm not honestly sure. All right. So if this fight cycles, we know that we have all the tools at our disposal to deal with the fight. Do you know what I mean? 
Like, if we can get through this, if we can... Oh, okay, right. I'm starting to panic a little bit. I'm not going to lie. Okay, just relax. Just relax. Okay. But we have everything ready for the fight. Oh, uh, I'm so nervous now. I'm freaking out. Okay, I'm expecting a third and final phase. Come on, please. All right, rush to the other side. We know this one. Oh, I'm so nervous. Okay, freeze time. Oh, I'm actually physically shaking. Please fight. Okay, just heal as much as you can. Right, we've got to go back the other way. We've got to go back the other way. Don't hit the side. Okay, we did it. We did it. We did it. Right, let's go. Let's go. Abomination. Get wrecked. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, we did it. We did it. Oh, my God. I'm I'm shaking so much. <laughs> I can't believe that. I am, I am over the moon. All right. Toaster oven. <laughs> Big virtual high five. Permanent seat on the couch. Oh, my. Wow. The pure adrenaline. I can't believe we beat that today. I really can't believe we beat that. I'm so proud of us. I am so proud of us. We did that as a group. We really did. Oh, I'm so proud. Honestly, I don't know if I'm going to beat the mutant. Let's be real here. Chances are extremely low. But just knowing that we made it to the final fight is worth celebrating. This is awesome. This is a landmark episode. I am so proud of us. I am. I'm so proud of us. So this is what it ended up being. These are the accessories. Okay, so what do we get? Let's reap the rewards. Abominable wand. Equipable. Material. Grants immunity to abominable fang. Increased critical damage gained per sparkling adoration graze. Half sparkling adoration heart cooldown. Spectral abomination periodically manifests. God, that summon won't shut all. Oh my god. <laughs> All right, we're off. We're off out the way. Um, periodically manifest to support your critical hit. Spectral Abomination also inflicts Mutant Nibble. You can endure any attack and survive with one life. Once triggered, you cannot heal for 10 seconds. Endurance recovers when you... Oh, this is amazing. This is amazing. Let's open it up. Bam. An actual treasure bag. So we got a new summon weapon. The Staff of Unleashed Ocean. Summons Duke Fishron to fight for you. Damage drastically reduced when used alongside other classes. Well, don't worry about it. So, swapping these over, 406, 685. So, you just know, by the way, that we've got to farm this out a million times. Because there's a lot of things to craft for this. So, just to show you real quick, uh, the soul of Terraria needs 10. So, this is something we want to make. This is a big buff to every single class. This is awesome. Uh, and we're very close to, to actually making this. I think the only thing we need is... Well, honestly, let's let's have a little look. So... Oh, I'm, <laughs> I'm still over the moon. I've never been so proud of myself. I'm not even kidding. <laughs> this is the peak of my life right here. <laughs> I'm so... Honestly, I, I can't. I can't deal with the fact that we actually did that. I, I just... Wow. So we need the sniper salt. Okay, let's look at all of it. So there is true mutant's body armor. I would assume that this is after the mutant fight. Abomination voodoo doll. So this is for five goes abomination at uh, the mutant, sorry. No, wait. No, it's not. Never mind. <laughs> Sparkling love. So I, I just want to say, I imagine all of these might be after. Oh, no, wait. Can we make any of these now? Formed after using... 10 seismic actuators. It makes you want to break some kids. But <laughs> okay. So I think I, I assume that these are maybe upgrades to some of the ones we didn't make. So for example, like the twin orang with an optic staff makes this one, the Gemini Glaives. So how do we get these? Sibling Energizer. Oh, 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 I get it. I imagine it's um a hundred of the twins. The landslide. Ah, upgrade to the rock slide. Penetrator. So, here's the thing. I imagine all of these are super awesome and insanely useful. Um, Let me know if, if there is, like, the one that we should just make. Let me know if there is, like, a master weapon. 
So as well as this, look, the soul of the siblings. We have a lot of this stuff. We have this, 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 and this. So we just need a little bit more energy. Soul of dimensions. Wow. So we got two of these already. We could do uh, some more of these. This is incredible stuff. So I imagine next episode will probably be uh, the big grind. But I would say let's maybe start with this and go from there. Or maybe, to be fair, maybe we just refight the fight and use this instead. Let me give that a go. I can't believe it. I'm so proud of us. I am. I'm so proud of us. Right. Let me try to do the refight and I'll, I'll see how far I get. So, in a not too surprising turn of events, in this fight I'm doing a lot worse. <laughs> but that's always the way with uh, with these fights. <laughs> or just anything like this. Oh yeah, it's uh, melee now. We just need to, to heal up. We've got 14 seconds left. So we got a, a good chance of actually getting some health. So, oh, a little bit different because we, we, we have rotting now. And we also have um, less health. Yeah, that's all right. Don't, don't worry about it. We were revived, but at what cost? We dropped free platinum. Oh, the, the excitement today. Wow. Um, okay, so that was bad. Right, let's, let's maybe make the, the sniper soul. And, and go from there. So, um, yeah, that's weird. It's just weird to, to be like, all right, abomination dead, back to crafting. Um, okay, so I remember right, we were very close to this, and there was something that we were missing. Is it the mega shark? Is that what it is? I think it's the mega shark. Is the mega shark you want to, it is the one you've got to craft, right? So we need a mega shark and a sniper scope. Okay. Right, let me get working on both of those. I think we did look into this. I think the thing we need is an Avengers emblem, which we don't have because we don't have an emblem. But then I also need to do one of the fights and yeah, don't worry about it. I'll, I'll sort this out. I'll sort this out. All right, so Mega Shark, bam, done. And then uh, Avengers emblem. <laughs> okay, all right, Avengers emblem. And then we need to make the sniper thingy. I can never remember how to make this. Oh, destroy your emblem. That's what we need. Destroy your emblem. And that is made with the Eye of Gollum and an Avengers emblem. So we don't have an Eye of Gollum. Okay. Well, we can go and get that. Don't even worry about it. Because we are now the champion of Terraria. The Abomination himself. Um, yeah, cool. Um, <laughs> I'm just chugging stuff about. I'm, I'm so over the moon. All right. Don't worry. The episode has peaked. Okay, no more no more content will come from this episode. Oh, has he had a, a new sprite again? No, he hasn't. All right. I was remembering the Sans face and I was very confused. <laughs> what goes through the mind of these spriters? I do not know. I quite like it though. I don't know. It's, it's, it's whatever. Um, oh, we didn't get it. All right. Let me just quickly do some farming then. All right. So we got it. Um, let's bang that all into magic storage. Magic storage has been coming up big in this series. We have, like, barely had to maintain it. And honestly, it's it's done so well for us. So, destroy your emblem. Done. Uh, sniper scope. Okay, bam. And then, sniper soul. We are missing something. And I think... I do not know what it is. So, we have this. We got that. We got that. We got a dart pistol. We got a dart pistol. We got a mega shark. Pulse bow. Right, okay. Now, this might be hard because I used our... Let's see. Please be a pulse bow. Yeah, I used our traveling merchant. So, what do we lack in here? Three of them. Really? Oh, this is the worst. This is the absolute worst. <laughs> what? We have been defeated by a traveling merchant. Well, I guess, to be fair, that's all things we can we can sort out for tomorrow. Uh, once again, let's just have a little look at this abominable energy again. Let's... Oh, I just clicked off on it. Great. Let's let's put it in here. Abominable energy. Because we're, we're going to need to get more of this. But we'll need to learn a lot about it. So these are all the ones you combine together. So this might be the one that we actually should try and get, really. Because we could grind all these out right now. In reality. If these are all just ones from the champions, like, why not? Let's go do it. Okay? Might be a bit of a long episode. But hey, it is what it is. Right, so let's get started then and, and actually just do this. So, Champion of Timber, let us begin. Um, 
day is it daytime for Champion of Timber? Well, anyway, don't worry about it. We're on daytime. Oh, wait, it's it's melee now. Okay, Champion of Timber. So uh, what I'll do is I'll just quickly just grind all these out. I'll just work through these as, as quickly as possible. They're not going to be hard for obvious reasons. Because we're a massive legend. That's right. Massive legend. Um, <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. I'm so... I'm so proud, honestly, that we just made it to this point. I really am. So, Force of Timber. Bam. Done. Okay, right. <laughs> Which one do you think is going to be the hardest one to refight? It's probably <laughs> it's probably the Duke Fishron one. Uh, let's see, because we, we do have... We do already have one. So, we've got the Champion of Earth one. And we already have the, the Force of Terror, don't we? Let me just double check. Yeah, we've we got the Cosmos Earth and we also have Terror. So which ones do we need? So we've got Timber, Earth, Terror, Nature, Underground Snow. Oh, that's the, the Dragon one. Honestly, probably the most forgettable, no offense, but I kind of even forgot we even did that. We kind of, we did two, didn't we, in one episode, so I guess it makes sense. I feel bad. <laughs> I don't mean to bully it. It was fine. It just, yeah, just forgettable, I guess. But to be honest, like, it can't all be the most memorable thing in the world. So, heading back, uh, Force of Nature. Let's see if we can make it. So, Force, and there we go. Force of Nature. All right, which ones we got left? Uh, after this, we have the Champion of Shadow. Okay. And do, wait, do, we haven't done the Champion of Life, have we? That's Hallow at Day. Okay. All right, let's, let's go do that one. <laughs> um, admittedly, I'm a little bit more nervous about this one. I'm, I'm, I'm quite nervous about... Yeah, I'm quite nervous about Champion of Will. I'm nervous about the one of Spirit, the one in the desert. Because we never really mastered that one. We just kind of did it, do you know what I mean? So I will say, I know it wasn't all that long ago. But it feels really nostalgic refighting these bosses. I think it kind of shows, like, the strength of the Champion Saga. Like, it went on for a bit, but... You know, I look back on it with really good memories. Like, I see the champion of life and I'm like, okay. Like, I really missed this in a way. Oh, I forgot about this. Oh, God. But yeah, when, we're not super strong. And as you can see, it does remove all your debuffs. So you do have to be careful with this fight. Uh, oh, yeah. These are green bubbles or something. What I've been doing is essentially, like, trying to skirt through these fights. Get to the, uh, get to the sniper phase. And then activate freeze time and kind of go from there. Because watch this, look. The damage is is just incredible. Like, watch watch the health bar now. Because you get the, the, like, sniper buff or whatever from being stationary, you just get so much damage. It is honestly kind of amazing. Oh, yeah. This was the worst back in the day. Oh, look at it. I feel so nostalgic <laughs> for two weeks ago. <laughs> oh, okay, all right. Well, don't actually die on this one. <laughs> I want nostalgia, but I don't want failure, you know? Oh, okay. Uh, oh, it's so much easier when you've got better, fl uh, better wings and such. Okay, there we go. We did it. All right, let's do it some more. All right, so we'll head back home and let's check. Because the good thing is when we did the initial fights, it's not like we didn't use... Uh, we, we didn't use the enchantments that we got. We just left them in here. So, Force of Life. That one is done. Uh, what is next? The Champion of Shadow. God, why am I really struggling with these? God, there's a lot more than I remember. Shadow, Spirit, Will. Oh, wait. Shadow is... Shadow's the dragon, right? Oh. Honestly, kind of forgot about it. Not because this one ain't forgetful, but I just kind of forgot the name. All right, so uh, let's check out if we can make this. So dump that all in there. Then soul. Wait, <laughs> we're not making souls. We're making forces. Force. There we go. The shadow force. So which ones we got left? We have spirit, right? We got spirit. Let me just double check. Have I got all of these? So we've got this one. This one. Did we make that one? Force of life. Honestly, I can't remember. Um, yeah, don't worry about it. I'm just going to quickly run through. Um, all right, let's see. Which ones we got left? We've got the one underground, like under the house now. So we've got the champion, not champion of shadow. 
We got champion of spirit and champion of will left. All right, let me get working on it. We can do it. <laughs> Long episode, but totally worth, honestly. Right, so, um, don't pull that in there. And then we get the force of spirit. Bam. So the last one up is the force of will. So, all right, just based on this, we need to do two fights, essentially, and win both of them. Now, I don't know about you, but that sounds really awful. All right, we'll, we'll see how we do. We'll see how we do. We've, we've learned a lot. We have. We've learned a lot. We should be very proud of ourselves. But what we're going to do is we're going to spawn it in. We're going to freeze time. And then we're going to quickly just pile on as much damage as possible. All right. <laughs> this is the way forward. Now, I, I can't remember anything about this fight already. As, as crazy as that seems. I feel like I've already forgotten everything I learned about it. Was I even shooting the boss then, or was I shooting the vortex? I don't know. All right, well, okay. We gotta dodge these, and then we got loads of micro dodges to do inside of the X. I remember that, but everything else has is, is already been removed from the brain. Okay, this is it. It's the dodging backwards and forwards part. Oh, we're already into the second phase, I believe. So we're just gonna freeze time wherever possible as well, so we'll do that. Um, Oh, okay. Yeah, it's all starting to come back to me now. <laughs> now that it's getting really hard. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go over here and see if I can dodge these. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> I'm. Oh, and now I'm just drinking mana potions. <laughs> yeah, I've got no idea what I'm doing here. Right. So, it's time to make uh, the soul of Terraria, hopefully. So, we do have the, the force of will. I've put in all the, the forces we have so far. So there we go. Oh, look at it. It's shiny. All right. The force of Terraria. Bam. We did it. Look at this. All right. Let me let me try to read a little bit of this. Summons fireballs, icicles, leaf. I don't want to read it. <laughs> it's too long. But you all know that this is a huge, huge, huge improvement. Like, this is insane, the amount of extra stuff this adds. Look at it. Look at what's going on right now. <laughs> this isn't even Terraria anymore. We even have that Shinobi enchantment, don't we? The, the teleport one. Look at it. It's amazing, all right? Honestly, I feel like we could bunt Subobination now. So, that is it for today's episode. Incredibly long, incredibly action-packed. It was great. Um, thanks once again for the tips. Now, tomorrow will likely be the mutant. So, some closing thoughts. I've never seen the mutant fight. I really haven't. Like, I don't I don't know what it looks like. I don't know the attacks. All I want to say is this, okay? Let me let me turn it on to minimal effects. Minimal. There we go. Much better. So, to get to this point, you have to spend between 50 in a hundred hours. It's a real journey. Many boss fights along the way, many hardships, a lot of pain, and most importantly, a lot of grinding. A lot of grinding. You have to grind a lot. I really, really hope that for the final boss, they haven't just made a statement piece. I hope they've remembered to have fun, because at the end of the day, this is going to be the lasting impression of the Fargo Soul mod. After all of it, the mutant fight is what you lot are going to remember. I really hope that they haven't just made the worst thing in the world so that it can be the worst thing in the world. I hope it's fun. That's that's my hope for tomorrow. I hope it feels fair. I hope it feels fun. Obviously, it's going to take a long time to learn. Don't get me wrong. And rightly so. But I hope that they've remembered that. Anyway, <laughs> that's it for today's episode. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Shout out to our channel members as always. Um, this is it. The Mutant Saga begins. All right. I'll see you in 20 episodes. Peace. <laughs>